there, Sandra here from Creating Spain and Caesar Juliet Beginners to Pro. You may be wondering why I am showing you a web page of Creative Fabrica. I'm not being paid to do this, but I have got a year subscription for free simply by following this try all access now for just 59 euros. Okay, so Caesar have teamed up with Creative Fabrica, and if you have a Caesar cutter, doesn't matter where you bought it when you bought it so far you can get a year subscription for free by following this link so the way that it works is that you sign up for it you pay for it and then you go to this tab here and you request a full refund and within five working days we will issue a full refund to your chosen payment method follow that and you can get your access now, I can't tell you how quickly the refund comes in because I've only just signed up to it. The other thing is that when I signed up for it, I got charged 71 something because in the EU and probably in the UK, they add VAT to it. So I'm hoping that the VAT will be refunded as well, but it was 12 euro something. And I figure, well, a year's membership, even if I have to pay 12 euros, is still doable. Now, you may be wondering what you get for your money with Creative Fabrica. And I'm not going to go through it all because the website does that pretty well. But in case you were thinking it's just card designs and things like that, it isn't. It is a lot more. So I'm looking here at Home Decor 3D SVG Crafts and I've noticed that there are some projects in here which are designed for things like laser cutters or CNC's or for 3D printers to import a file. All sorts of people could be interested in this. So if you have a cutting machine and then your partner has maybe like mine, he's got a 3D printer and he's got a CNC machine. Well, I've got a CNC machine as well, come to think of it. There are some projects on here which they might find interesting as well. Okay, so it's not just paper crafts, but there are an awful lot of paper crafts on here. And there are some very nice files, I have to confess. There are some very good files. If I just go to 3D here and pick something else, go to Seasons maybe. Let's see what comes up. Oh, I like that one. Uh, so we have lots and lots of different things that you can make. There are also fonts. So you have lots of fonts here, including single line fonts, by the way. Those can be very useful and they can be quite expensive to buy. Needlework, embroidery patterns, knitting patterns, crochet patterns. Let's go to embroidery for a minute, just because I'm interested to see what they do. Okay, so they have machine embroidery here. I did wonder if it's hand embroidery, and it's machine embroidery, uh, which for me is fine. I have an embroidery machine as well. <laughs> so there are things on here that maybe I would use. But what I suggest is that you take a look. If you have a Caesar cutter, then you're not losing anything by taking a look and seeing whether there's anything on here that interests you. So what I thought I would do next is to pick a project out of here and actually make it, and you can see the results. So for my first project from Creative Fabrica, I decided to do a butterfly box. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna show you this. This is a 3D printed object, and basically it's supposed to hold ice cream cones, but if you happen to have a 3D printer, very handy for sticking things like glue bottles in. So we've got two pieces which make up the box itself. Now I resized it so that the bounding box was 19 centimeters wide for the file pieces, okay? And this is much smaller than it is normally, but I didn't want to make a big one, so that's what I did. Now the first thing we have to do is to do the folding. Now I used a scoring tool to do this and it's worth noting that if you have a scoring tool that you're going to use rather than wanting to use dashed lines which are in the file, you pick the file that says score. 
and it will still give you the cut lines but it gives you solid lines for the dashed lines instead. So there we are. Not particularly difficult, doesn't take a great deal of time. And if you happen to have got yourself a nice scoring tool for Christmas, or perhaps you're thinking of getting one, then this is a project where a scoring tool is really coming into its own. You really would not want to have dashed cut lines along here or on these edges. You just really would not want it. So now we can take our little butterfly and we can pull the wings up a bit more. So I was able to take a file from Creative Fabrica, downsize it, cut it out and still get it to work, which is great. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I will be back to my normal scheduling very soon. I've just been having some time off with family over Christmas and I wasn't very well before that. So I've just had a good long rest and I'm feeling a lot better now and ready to get back into the fray of designing and making videos. Take care. Bye bye.